So my name is Erica Rumbly. I'm the Stanley P. Kozak Director of Horticulture here at the Gardner. And we are in the Central Palace in the Gardner Museum. And this is the John Lowell Gardner chrysanthemum installation. So, I mean, there's certain moments in the year that are kind of set in stone because they're tradition. So the mums is one of, it's one of those moments that mums have been installed in the courtyard since Isabella lived in the palace. And so it's a plant that we're always going to work with in this time of year. I mean, we know that Isabella appreciated um, tropical foliage, like that has always been the backbone of the courtyard. Um, we know that she loved mums, so by the time that she was growing mums in Green Hill and Brookline, people had been selecting mums and growing cultivars in the United States for about a hundred years, but the popularity of mums, like in the popular imagination, mums were getting bigger. And we know that in 1884, she and her father-in-law won a, a bunch of prizes at the Mass Horticulture Society's annual chrysanthemum show, which I think is just, like, mums were a big enough thing that there was an annual chrysanthemum show. <laughs> it's just kind of charming. So, you know, she was experimenting with the form, and there were painter friends of hers that were painting the mums that they were growing. Like, there was just kind of an infatuation with what the plant could do. In the collection today, there's a variety called Gloria that we know was in the in the collection when Isabella lived in the palace. It's been either propagated by division or by cuttings every single year since Isabella was alive, right? So this spring, like every other spring since Isabella lived in the palace, like we cut back the Gloria, we divided the stock plants, we took our cuttings, we started our new plants. And so it feels special to be part of something that people have been physically like caring for and tending for that. But outside of those kind of iconic seasonal moments, there's a lot of space to play. And so we're always thinking about a year in advance about like what plants can we add to a certain installation to kind of turn up the color palette or make the show more visually interesting in terms of texture or um, grow something at the right scale so that we can accentuate either the architecture or the sculpture, right? So we're always tweaking. <laughs>